After the examination, the doctor met Bridget in his office. He smiled as she took a seat. Then his eyes rested on her finger, where her wedding ring should have been, and his demeanor changed. She felt herself flushing. You're pregnant, he said, frowning. Of course I'll run the test, but I'm fairly certain it will be positive. His words hung in the air. She couldn't be. The nurse handed her an appointment reminder and a prescription for vitamins. Too numb to ask questions, she left the office. On the walk back, she felt sick and threw up on the side of the street. Who was the father? Eddie? Noah? Tears welled in her eyes. She wanted a baby, but not like this. When she reached home, she made a cup of tea and sat down. What could she do? She could go away, have the baby, and give it up. Abandoning her baby to an uncertain future with a stigma of not being wanted wasn't something she could do. In her mind, this was worse than being born out of wedlock. Her baby must not grow up an orphan. Bridget had an image to maintain. People were quick to judge. They might think twice about doing business with a loose woman. With a start... She saw herself as others would see her, pregnant, unmarried, and not even sure who fathered her baby. Abortion. Another possibility? That didn't feel right. To want a child, then kill it because it wasn't convenient? Only one choice remained. The only one that made sense. She had to get married so the baby would have a name. But to whom? Eddie was gone. Her cup of tea sat on the table untouched. She felt as if someone had turned the lights off. She sat in the chair, unmoving. Two hours passed, but still she didn't move. The sun receded behind the hills and darkness fell. Her hands lay in her lap, her body still, her eyes unseeing. The temperature began to drop, and a cold chill ran through her. The heaviness in her chest intensified. Her limbs felt heavy.